Hello again and welcome to the Interchange Book 3 video for Unit 3. Today we're going to be talking about making requests. Okay, So asking for things or asking for favors. That's what we're going to focus on today. So let's get started. Alright, so let's look at this situation. Okay, So we have a girl and it looks like she's at the airport, right? She has her suitcase and everything. She's making a phone call she's calling her friend okay so obviously he looks like he's asleep um, and she's calling him so let's take a listen to hear what the conversation is about uh, hello hi Tyler it's Sharon. I'm sorry, are you sleeping? Um, yeah, I was, but that's okay. What's up? I'm sorry to bother you so late, but I was wondering if I could ask you a big favor. Uh, well, what is it? It's just that my ride never came to pick me up from the airport, and well, I was wondering if you would mind giving me a ride to my house. I wouldn't normally ask, but I have no one else to call. Oh, yeah, that is terrible. Yeah, sure. I can come get you. Really? Thank you so much, Tyler. Yeah, no problem. But is it okay if I get there in like 30 minutes? I have to get some gas first. Yeah, totally. Would it be alright if I helped you pay for gas? I feel bad making you come all the way out here. No, don't worry about it, Sharon. Glad to help. I'll be there soon. Could you meet me out in front? Okay, great. Thanks again, Tyler. See you here. Alright guys, now after watching the video, we're going to take a look at the grammar of the different requests that you heard during the conversation, okay? So first let's look at the types of requests we have, right? We have small requests, which are things that maybe if I ask a person to do it for me, it's not a it's not a big deal. It's not that big, right? So those are small requests. Bigger requests, maybe if I ask the person to do it, it's a little bit more difficult for that person to do it, or maybe they're not going to want to do that thing. And a big request is something that is really going to be difficult for that person to do. Maybe something that they don't really normally want to do, but I, I really need their help, okay? So these are the different types of requests that we have, and we use different ways of asking for things, depending on how important or how difficult that request is to do. So let's start with a small request. For example, can you meet me out in front? Or could you meet me out in front, okay? So notice with this, we're using a modal, for example, can or could, to be polite. And then we use our base form of the verb. So for example, meet, right? But this works for anything. I could say, can you give me um, something to drink? Or could you go with me to the store, right? But basically, this is the most basic request, right? Not a very difficult thing for the person to do. Something a little bit bigger is, for example, do you mind if I get there in 30 minutes? right or is it okay if I get there in 30 minutes okay so notice for these ones we're being hypothetical okay so when I use if it's always hypothetical but this is the present tense so notice this is the present tense is it okay if I get there in 30 minutes and get is in the present tense same thing with this one do you mind if I get there in 30 minutes everything is in the present tense now some of you might be thinking huh what is mind what does mind mean in this, in this sentence? Well, mind is another way to say to be bothered or to be annoyed, right? So if you use this, for example, do you mind? That's another way of saying, does it bother you? Or if I say, I don't mind, that's another way to say, that doesn't bother me or that doesn't annoy me, okay? So mind is to say to be bothered. So if I ask this question, do you mind if I get there in 30 minutes? It's another way to say, does it bother you? Or are you annoyed? 
if I get there in 30 minutes, okay? So let's look at a bigger one, a bigger request, okay? Here I use would. So would you mind if I helped you pay for gas? Or would it be okay if I helped you pay for gas? Now in both of these examples I'm using a hypothetical with would, right? We see the if, so it's hypothetical. But now I'm using would. Now when I'm hypothetical with would, it's important to know that the verb is always in the past tense, just like these, right? So I can say, would it be okay if I helped you? Or would it be okay if I went? Or would it be okay if I took? Or anything in the past tense, but the idea is that that verb has to be in the past tense because I'm being hypothetical with the would, okay? Hypothetical situation. Here's another form of that, and I use, would you mind? giving me a ride home. So, something to know about the word mind, remember we said that's like to be bothered. So I'm asking hypothetically, would you mind? Uh, would it bother you? And then this action. Now remember the verb always needs to be in the gerund. So after mind, we always use the gerund. And that's the ing verbs, right? So I can use this in any context. Would you mind taking? Would you mind going? Right? But in this one, would you mind giving me a ride, okay, is my request. So the reason why we're using this type is like giving someone a ride is, you know, it's a, it's a bigger thing than just asking someone to meet you in front of the building, okay. Now, <clears throat> the most formal or the biggest requests that we can make are something like these. I was wondering if you could give me a ride, okay. So notice I'm using wondering wondering now if you think what is wondering wondering is another way to say to think right it's to think about something right so in this context I'm saying I was wondering if you could give me a ride that's not a question it's just saying I'm thinking or I'm hypothetically thinking if you could do this for me so it's not really a question but I still am asking the person to do something so notice I'm using the modal, good, and the base form, give. So when I use this, I could say, I was wondering if you could go, I was wondering if you could take, I was wondering if you could, and then any verb, but it has to be in the base form. Another form of this is to combine a few different things we learned. For example, I was wondering if you would mind giving me a ride. Again, it's not a question. It's just saying, hypothetically, I'm thinking, if it would bother you to give me a ride. So remember, here's would, that's my base form of the verb. That's my modal verb, excuse me. But then I need to use the base form mind, but always after mind, remember we said we use the gerund. So we're sort of combining these two. And I say, I was wondering if you would mind giving me a ride. So notice these ones at the top are for big requests, right? Giving some a ride is, is a big request. So we're going to use things like this. I was wondering if you could give me a ride. I was wondering if you would mind giving me a ride, right? And then the different levels of requests. But the basic one for something easy, something the person is going to do for you, and it's not a big, it's not a big deal, we can just use the basic types of requests. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a lot. Thanks for watching, and good luck, guys.